What's going on guys? Welcome back. Got another boat video coming at you and this should be the second to last one. I think I can finish the entire thing with one more video. I'm still waiting on a couple of parts, um, mainly the hatch for the front deck. But today I want to go ahead and finish all this off and I will go into the wiring again a little bit. I got everything wired up now. It's all perfect. Everything works. But today the main purpose is going to be getting this um, seating structure and everything back into the boat and then mounting the storage locations for the navigation lights and the nav light and the anchor light. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see I finished up the second seat right here. And the way they were from the factory, they just had this piece of angle aluminum riveted to the side. So I got that riveted back up. And got the new board that I made for my cup holders and everything all lined up. So I'm going to squeeze them together. And I'm probably going to screw this side on first. Um, and then bring the other chair over and then screw that on. So let's go ahead, get this side screwed on. We'll see how it goes. Make sure everything is flush, tight. screws were the tips of them were just a tiny bit long so I want to make sure that they're not sticking through and it's not so we're good there I added a washer to them uh, just to reduce that length a little bit so everything looks good there it's all flush like it should be. It's flush back here where it butts up to the back panel there. So now let's go ahead and grab that other seat and we'll get it mounted to this side over here. We'll be able to throw them back in the boat. So I kind of wish all I did was use the factory rivet hole locations and on this side you can see we're off by oh probably an eighth or a quarter inch so I kind of wish I would have squared that up but that's fine I don't think you'll really even notice it and if it does bug me in the future I can always pull it out these are easy to come out so Let's go ahead and get these babies slapped back in there and see how they look in the boat. Check the alignment. I'd say we're pretty centered right there. Looks like she's in the center back there. So now all we gotta do is hit these screws. There's one, two, three, four. Looks like four screws per seat. So I'll go ahead and get those done. It's gonna kind of be hard to film, so I'll set you guys up on a time lapse. I'll just knock those out quick. But it looks like everything's centered up and I'm, I'm going to double check it one more time and then screw her down. Oh, 
All right, seats are in. They look awesome. So the last thing we have to do is actually just take the chairs and mount them up to the hinges, which is just four screws. So simple, super simple. I'll show you that quick, but yeah, I just want to step back and take a look. Turned out fantastic. And the new cup holders look awesome. And I use all aluminum rivets and all stainless steel hardware on everything. So nothing should rust. But yeah, let's go ahead and get these chairs mounted up to the hinges. So the easiest way I've found to do it is fold the chair up and just set it right there in front of the hinge. So I've had these on and off of here a few times now. And then get your screw through the hinge. And just start it into the chair. So that one's just started and then we'll go to the opposite side and start that one. Snug them all up. And we'll hit that last one. Easy as that. All right, seats are done, fully functional as they were before. So you got the under storage, under seat storage, and then you can fold them back down when you want to sit down. So the next thing I want to get into is mounting my navigation light um, storage brackets. So these are quite a bit different. I bought both the new rear anchor light and the front nav light. So they're different than what came with the boat. Um, quite a bit well the nav lights about the same length but the anchor light is quite a bit shorter I would say it's probably about half as long it used to be um, the anchor light went all the way across the back here and then the nav light was stored right here but now that they are much more compact I will be able to store them both back here so I'm just trying to decide on placement but I think I've got it figured out now I want the anchor light to be over on that side um, be able to tuck that right behind that seat and then stick the nav light over here on this side so let's go ahead and get those babies mounted up and then we'll get into the wiring Those turned out pretty good. So I've got the anchor light over there on the driver's side and the nav light over here on the passenger side. And because of that anchor light, um, the inboard bracket lines up with the live well, I made sure that I had a screw that wasn't gonna go all the way through and puncture the live well and create a leak. So I used a shorter screw on that one, but the rest of this is all just foam behind here other than where the live well is so turned out good did not go through I mean the screw there's probably a quarter inch or three eighths inch engagement and you can see there's at least an inch there between the live well and the, that wall so now I want to go through um, after I've diagnosed everything got everything working go through the wiring one more time with you guys I've had a ton of questions over the wiring what the colors are what they do and all of that 
So I'm going to start back here in the back um, with the two wires that are coming from back here and then we'll dive in underneath the console and take a look at those. So to start with, back here in the back hatch on these boats, there are two different wire sources coming from back here. So I have a bilge pump and the live well aerator pump. And you can see the bilge pump is a dark brown wire. Just no letters, no white line, just dark brown. And then coming from the aerator, uh, live well aerator, is more of a coffee colored. Um, a light, little bit lighter brown. Still no letters, no white lines, none of that. So now let's go ahead and then obviously both blacks, those are just grounds. So let's go ahead and well actually while we're back here, I'll show you how I ended up getting everything wired up. So you can see this is my trolling motor circuit and this battery, this front battery. And then I've got the breaker here so I can turn it on and off. I use that as a battery disconnect switch and it's also my fuse. And then on this side, uh, this rear battery is my cranking battery as well as all my auxiliary. So my switch panel, gauges, everything runs off this other battery. And this has a 20 amp uh, breaker on it. So see here, same thing. Uh, for the trolling motor, I use a 60 amp. So let's dive in under the dash. I'll have to get in there, crawl under there so I can kind of show you guys what's going on. All right, I'm gonna do my best uh, to show you guys here. It's gonna be difficult laying under here, but. So this is the first switch here, and this is my nav lights, and they are both a dark gray wire, both the front and the rear. And then you can see this is the dark brown wire um, for my bilge pump. And this is the lighter coffee colored wire uh, for my aerator. So I've got nav lights, aerator, bilge pump, and then these are just wires that I've added for other lighting. And then all the gauges. I'll give you guys a quick view of those. If I can get under here. look but yeah I've got everything kind of tidied up now and then for my fish finders got all those wires coiled and then you can see everything comes back over to the fuse panel here so everything's all zip tied up and then of course the fire extinguisher and it turned out amazing Looks really good. You can't see any of the wiring um, unless you get down underneath of there. So yeah, everything looks good. The console turned out awesome. And I've still got two of the old switches. These are both three position switch. So for my lights, I've got anchor light only and then nav and anchor light. And then this is for the live well aerator. So you've got manual fill and then auto aerate. So this, when it's up top, runs to the timer. This switch here is my bilge pump, so it's on or off. I don't have this set up on the auto circuit. And then these two switches over here are for lights. So these are my docking lights, and these will be my deck lights once I get those installed. And I did order um, two more three position switches with the blue LEDs, so they'll match all the rest of these. But I'm just gonna use these for now. Um, just to fill in and then of course the radio you guys saw that and the two hummingbird helixes so yeah everything under the deck turned out or under the console turned out awesome got it all buttoned up so everything now in the rear of the boat's done stand up here so I've got the console it's complete everything's wired all done now we just got all the seating in. That's all complete. So you'll be able to step here now, up onto the back deck, and then of course, the live well, the rear, everything's done back here. So 
But I think that is going to do it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to go through and finish up my rod locker. You can see I got it all covered and ready to go in. I've just got to work on the lid. Like I said, the lid's got to have a hinge on this side now where it used to have a hinge on this side. So that's all ready to go. And then we're going to start working on the tackle storage, which is going to fill this void right here. So you'll step up onto the deck right about where the flashlight's sitting. And then, so that will extend uh, the length of the deck all the way back here too. And then of course, we're still waiting on our hatch for the front. So there'll be a 14 by 14 hatch to get into that storage location there. And I have the vinyl um, to finish up the front deck, but I want to wait for that hatch so I can cut that all out. So that's basically all we're waiting for to wrap this thing up. Take a seat here now that they're all mounted up. And then, oh, I did finish up the steering wheel, got it all painted up, looks nice. So yeah, everything so far has turned out awesome. Uh, I love the vinyl so far. Should be super easy to clean, won't have to worry about hooks getting caught in it or any of that. So, But I think that's going to do it for today, guys. I'm a little behind on editing right now, so I'm going to try and crank out some videos a little bit quicker. Uh, it's been busy at work, and I'm trying to get this boat finished up so we can go fishing. And so I haven't been concentrating on the editing part of it too much, but hopefully this week I'll be able to crank some out. Well, you will you would have already seen them, so sorry for the delay, guys. But that's going to do it. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified of any of the new videos coming out, hit that notification bell. And I'll catch you guys right back here again for the next video. So thanks for stopping by. Catch you on the next one.